It's Jimmy Herod O'Reilly's and I have here a Top Don BT100 battery tester. So let's get it out and have a look through it. Okay, quick look at the back and we can see there that you can download an app for this to your phone on the Google Play or App Store. It is a Bluetooth battery tester, so it looks like it's got a screen on it, but you can connect it to your phone as well for uh, perhaps maybe sending a report of the device or whatever, but we'll have a look. We'll switch it on, we'll download the app, and we'll go through it. Okay, we have downloaded the app there. That's what it looks like, BT100W. So we'll open up. Now it's just going to ask for permissions. Which is pretty normal stuff. So we'll open up the uh, packet here for the tool. Just got a instruction book. Let's just rip it straight out. I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to use it. Can't be that hard. So we've got an old battery here that we can connect it up to. So there you can see when you connect it to a battery it just automatically switches on. We might have some trouble getting that screen to focus. That's it. If we take it outside, we can see it a bit better. So we can do a battery test, cranking test, charging test. Uh, let's do battery test. So it's a regular flooded battery. CCAs on this one would be... The sticker's a little bit worn out. But you can see there it's 550 EN. So we're just going to go through the menu, see if we can find EN. There we go, press OK, and that is 550. Oh, I've pressed back. Go back again. EN, 550. So we just need to increase that. 550. Power is too low whether to continue testing. So it's saying, yeah, the battery is too low to test because it is on uh, around about 10 volts. So there, 9.97. So what it's saying is to charge it and then retest it afterwards. So we're connected to a different battery here. A uh, slightly bigger battery, so it should be a little bit better to test. It's a regular battery. And again, it's an EN rating of 800. So we'll put that on 800 and we'll press test. So it's got a good charge, 62% health. So it's rated at 800 and it's got 622 amps. So let's go back to the app here. I'm gonna pair up the Bluetooth. Give him a little pet. We'll get back to it. Battery test. So it tells you here what to do. Check the health of the battery test. Cold cranking amps. State of health. Supports 12 volt batteries. Okay, let's press next. Battery type, uh, regular flooded, battery standards, EN, battery values, 800. Press OK. So again, let's have a look. 62% of health. 42% of charge. Now this battery has been sitting there for a while. You can see by the dust on it. Uh, test value 629 amps out of 800, which is quite good, I'd say. So, yeah, so this is what the app does. Different to the standalone tool. I was sort of thinking, why do you need the Bluetooth and when it's got its own screen? You know, but if you want to share that with someone, uh, for instance, a customer, uh, you can press share. So by pressing share you'll get the option to use email, WhatsApp, etc. 
and you can just forward that to someone. So when you forward it to someone, they'll get this link here. You can download it and it just gives you a printout of the screen there basically, what the battery voltage was. So let's get this connected up to a vehicle and we'll do an in-car test of the battery. Okay, we've taken off the battery cover there and connected it up. And you can see on the screen there that says it's connected to the phone. If you want to exit it, you can go back to using the hand tool. Okay, so this battery is an AGM and it's EN, sorry, put the screen in front of you there. And this one is 760 amp. So let's just uh, type that in, 760 and tick. We've got 760 amps, AGM battery, we'll go to next. So straight away there we've got a battery needs to be replaced sign, 19% health on it, state of charge is 19%, 329 amps left in the battery. Now this is where the actual app comes in handy rather than using the tool. So if we go inside the car for a cranking test. Ready to do a cranking test. Turn off all accessories and start the vehicle. Well, I assume that's telling me to start the vehicle before. Not really being clear there. Do I press next or just go ahead and start the vehicle now? Sorry, I'm just trying to get that screen there for you. There we go, got the message clear so we'll start the engine up. I assume that means let's go ahead and start it right now. Uh, confirm. Uh, it looks like I should have pressed confirm and then test the battery after. Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble getting it to uh, focus. We're gonna run that again. So we'll press confirm, and then it's gonna give us some time to start the engine. Did the engine start successfully? Just trying to get our screen to focus. Sorry about this, it's terrible. There we go. So yes, we'll press yes. We did start the vehicle come successfully. Cranking voltage was 11.42. Good cranking voltage, but the battery itself isn't very, very healthy. And you can do a charging test. Turn off all electrics, and then turn on electrics. Yep. Turn off all electrics. Everything's off. Next, put the acceleration up to 2500 RPM. Okay. Turn on all the electrics now. So turn on the Turn on the fan, turn on the AC, let's turn on that, and turn on the headlights. Now it's running the test again, normal charging voltage, so you know the alternator's good. So that is that tool there, topped on. It's the BTW100. See ya on another video.